for me, it's it seems definitely momentous. I think for patients, it's a, a real step forward, a real step forward. Well, that was John Hardy there, professor of neuroscience at the UCL Institute of Neurology. He joins many in the medical community to praise what's been hailed as a landmark moment in the battle against Alzheimer's. Experimental drug lecanemab becoming one of the first to appear to slow cognitive decline. We're joining us to discuss is Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kemlani. Obviously some cautious optimism here, but some welcome news for the community. Absolutely, Rochelle. That's exactly how, it, how, I would, how I would term it. Cautious optimism, of course, because there was some progress shown in the uh, reduction of cognitive decline in patients from this drug from SI. And they are looking to really get that on the market by next year. This drug has been one of the most uh, contentious, uh, aside from Aduhelm, of course, another drug that just recently got approval this year with SI's other partner in this with the same partner, Biogen. We haven't heard much from Biogen about this drug, but just to point that out. Uh, but what's really significant about this, of course, Professor Hardy uh, gets the credit for targeting this cluster, uh, this plaque cluster, and that's where the drug seems to have some significant progress in uh, treating Alzheimer's. Now, what's different between Aduhelm and this drug is that they uh, target different uh, stages, if you will, in the buildup of that plaque. And so this drug has a little bit more attention and a little bit more uh, sort of energy behind it uh, from those that are rooting for it because it targets an earlier stage of that plaque buildup in the brain. And so uh, with that, there are so, uh, sort of debates about whether or not this target in the brain, this plaque buildup, this plaque cluster is in fact something that uh, is the, you know, the right target to help slow Alzheimer's. Uh, and right now we've got two drugs looking right at that. Of course, two others, Roche and Eli Lilly, not far behind, also targeting uh, the same plaque cluster. And so we'll be seeing that next year. But as of right now, SI looking at uh, an FDA decision by early next year and then approvals across the globe by the end of next year. That's where things stand right now. Uh, like you said, cautious optimism, definitely going to wait and see what the FDA has to say about all this. Uh, Anjali, shifting our attention a bit here from Alzheimer's to COVID, we have, of course, been watching the uptick in cases over in China. There's a report out from Bloomberg suggesting China might be poised for a fourth round of COVID vaccinations. What do we know about that? Well, China has been weighing this option. As far back as September, the Chinese CDC has talked about a well-timed fourth dose in order to exit a uh, pandemic lockdown, which of course we know is really uh, the uh, impetus for this decision. China has seen protests in the last several weeks um, and, and really uh, in the last several days, you know, earlier this weekend, we saw the eruption of frustration that has been building in the country over the last three years as the country remains remains uh, focused on a zero COVID policy and the impact that that has had on the economy. So now China has had to weigh, uh, you know, with this recent eruption, the idea of actually loosening restrictions and the fourth dose would be part of that. They recently uh, have been pushing for booster doses, that third dose, and uh, have had little success with the older population, which is really the target uh, globally of these uh, additional doses. So China now has to weigh its decision decision in that realm. Anjali Kamlani, uh, thanks so much for that. Um, we'll be watching, uh, obviously, the developments over in China very closely.